Well, I was always, like I said, I was always interested in bugs and, and uh, natural things. And um, uh, I'd say it was always in my life. And uh, when I uh, was in high school, I had a very charismatic uh, physics teacher. And uh, so at first I thought, and, and also I had close friends who were her physicists, including someone you've probably heard of, Alan Guth, who uh, started the Big Bang Theory. He was a colleague of mine. And so at first I thought physics was the thing to do. So I was going to be a physicist when I went to college. But I soon realized that I actually liked biology better. You made that discovery at Oberlin? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After, after about a year, I had gone in as a sophomore, so I didn't have much time to readjust, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> How come you went in as a sophomore? Because of AP in yeah, high school? Yeah, yeah. What was your time in, in Oberlin like? Um, well, it was, uh, it was very good. I actually was a, uh, it's a very liberal college, and that's very fine. I had very fine teachers. Um, I have very close friends from Oberlin, uh, so it was it was it was good. But um, it's not a very, d despite the fact that it's extraordinarily liberal, it's it's not a very diverse college. It doesn't have people of different ages. It's sort of a small liberal arts college, and I think that uh, that actually I would have enjoyed a larger place. Although I hadn't thought that when I chose, <laughs> but anyway. So moving to Harvard Medical School, I really enjoyed. Boston, I, that was really, that was really fun. That was part of your decision to apply to and, and get into Harvard, correct? Yes, and I had a very, again, I had a very influential advisor when, when I was at Oberlin um, who uh, gave three lectures on immunology. And I was totally fascinated by the idea of uh, memory, of the ability of vaccination to protect us from reinfection in the future. And, and I, remember, I remember that lecture, and that's uh, ultimately what I went into. It's amazing that, that something at that stage in your life triggered the basis of a career almost, right? Yeah, no, I don't think it's amazing. <laughs> it just struck me that this is really interesting <laughs> and important. But these two teachers in particular were really important in, in your Yes, I think that's true of most people, that uh, uh, it's somebody who, uh, who you admire that you feel that that's what you'd like to be. 